Me, stressed, <laughs> never. Stressing is for little children. So if you're stressed, you actually need to grow up. Just grow up a little bit. Gosh, I'm stressed. You know, but I got time for stress. Gorgeous, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimage, and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions, and I let you know how I would do things, and I can take it as entertainment, use it as advice, take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. Do you know why? Do you know why? You know why? Because I'm not me, Ek. <laughs> no professional. I'm no professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. If there's one question that we all ask ourselves very often and it tends to stress us a lot is what is my purpose? What was I created for? Why am I here on earth? And every single time we make plans in our life, we always think down to am I going to be fulfilling my purpose in life? It is so stressful because you think about your degree. Am I supposed to study this degree? Is it gonna get me to the job that I'm supposed to have? Is it gonna get me to the life that I'm supposed to have? The job that you have right now, is this the job that I'm supposed to have? Am I blocking my purpose? Am I blocking my blessings? Am I blocking my favor? We think about our plans a lot. We think about our visions a lot because we have this thing in our heads that I'm made for a purpose. I just don't know what it is. How am I supposed to figure it out? I need to discover my purpose. So we, we leave, we go to India, we go climb the Himalayas, we go look for a monk and we're just like, monk, what is my purpose in life? And we think that that's gonna help us find our purpose. But let me tell you something. Your purpose is not your problem. <gasps> what? I'm serious, your purpose is not your problem. Today I'm going to tell you five reasons why your purpose is not your problem and what you're supposed to do about it because you're probably just like, what do you mean, Kubana? How am I supposed to make plans if I don't know what my purpose is? Don't worry about it, okay? I'm gonna explain it in today's video. Let's do this. Number one, you did not create yourself, therefore you do not even know what you were made for. Like if I was an engineer and I was in my house and something was really irritating me, I would create something to solve that problem, right? That's what people create is. People who create products and services and people who invent things, they think, I have this problem, like the light, right? It was created because candles ran out, paraffin was burning children and burning houses down and they were just like, okay, fine. We need a source of light that is safer and more reliable and the light, the electronic light, the light bulb was the solution to that problem. We were all made for a purpose, but we don't know what that purpose is because we did not create ourselves. <laughs> we are not content spontaneous things that just come out of nowhere and then boom, bada bing, bada bang, whew, there's Copan. No, 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 no. We were all created for a purpose, yes, but we did not create ourselves. We were created by God. And the only one who knows what our purpose is, is there for God. So what does this then mean for us, people who are trying to discover this purpose because we just want to know, am I on the right track? Am I going to do the things that are gonna get me to my purpose? Don't worry, do not stress, calm down, take a deep breath. Let's go to number two. Number two, you are actually making your life more difficult than it has to be. You are. You are concerning yourself with things that are not yours to be concerned about. Your purpose has already been determined. It has. God has already given you a purpose. And if you believe what God says about you, that he has only good things planned for you, that he has only things of abundance planned for you, that he has beauty, favor, joy in your purpose, in your future, that everything is going to work out for your good, then why are you stressed? What are you stressing about? What is it that you're stressing about? Your purpose has already been determined. So in life, we're not trying to define our purpose, we're discovering our purpose. Because we stress ourselves by saying, I need to find, I need to decide what my purpose, you can't decide what your purpose is. You can decide which direction you want to go. You can decide to follow God or not to follow God. You can decide to go left or to go right. That's all up to you. But your purpose was predetermined and it was made when you were made. God knew your purpose before he even created you. He knew what, what you would solve 
what you would do for people, the thing that you would bring to the world before you were created. That's already determined your purpose and trust me, it's good. It is good. The thing is, we worry that what if it's not good? What if I'm going to be unhappy? What if I'm going to be poor in life? It's either you believe what God says or you don't. God says he has good things planned for you. So stop worrying about it. Stop worrying about tomorrow. The Bible is littered with Bible verses that keep telling us to stop worrying about tomorrow. And every single time we worry about our purpose, we worry about tomorrow. That's not for us to worry about. That's for God to worry about. He's already got us and he says so. So instead of stressing about whether I'm going to eat and whether I'm going to have a job and whether I'm going to be happy in my future, it's already guaranteed. It's guaranteed, darling. Tick on that, believe it, walk around knowing that nah, I cannot stress it because purpose is sorted, my happiness in my future is sorted, abundance is in my future. It is guaranteed, God said so, I believe him. So I trust it. So stop worrying about things that aren't yours to worry about. Stop stressing yourself and stop making your life more difficult than it has to be. Number three, what are you supposed to do with all of this information? Because it's quite stressful, not knowing what your purpose is. Like, are you still supposed to make plans in life? Are you still supposed to have a vision board? Are you still supposed to go forward? What must you do if God says that he's got a purpose for you? How are you supposed to actually discover it? Yes, do not go and define your own purpose discover it every single day and the best way to discover that purpose is to be guided god's spirit guides us we may not know what tomorrow holds but god does and so does his spirit and god left us with his spirit that is with us every single day it's waiting to talk to us to guide us to give us comfort to give us understanding and most importantly to give us clues as to where we should go, as to what is coming, and to give us comfort that if you get inspired to go in this direction, that direction is going to lead you into your purpose. Follow God because that's how you fall into your purpose. But if you don't follow God, it becomes so much harder, it becomes so much more stressful. If you're not guided by His Spirit, you don't know what to do, you don't know where to turn, you're always stressed about your decisions, but if you're guided, the inspiration that comes to your mind isn't something that just comes from the air. It comes from God's spirit. So when you are inspired, you trust that inspiration because that inspiration is God's Holy Spirit speaking to us, giving us clues as to where our life is going, where our purpose lies, where we will find our abundance, our happiness, our joy, our fruitfulness, where we will multiply whatever it is that we touch that will turn into gold. And this just leads me to number four. Follow your inspiration. Vision boards are important. Your dreams are important. Your inspiration is insp important. Inspiration comes from God. I really liked what was said in Think and Grow Rich. In that it is said in the book that inspiration comes from God. And I also believe that. Inspiration comes from the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is constantly talking to us. And we may not hear it in this audible voice, but we get inspiration. We get these dreams that reoccur over and over and over again. We get this feeling in our gut, in our spirit, that you know what, I feel like I should do this thing. You may not know why, but you have this feeling and this inner conviction, and it just gives you this tingle in your spirit, in your heart, in your head. You just feel so happy about this thing. That is God's spirit speaking to you. It is inspiration. We call it inspiration and we think it comes from thin air, but it comes from God's spirit giving us clues, giving us vision, giving us hints of where God wants us to be and where our purpose is. So don't be afraid to have your vision board and have your dreams. Follow the inspiration that is given to you and trust it. Because if it is not for you, God will lead you away from it. As long as you trust in God, whatever path you take is the right one. Whatever path of inspiration you follow, God will get you to the right place. As long as you trust and believe in Him, don't worry. Just do what is inspired for you to do. Listen to what you think the Holy Spirit is saying because only you know, only you and your God know. So follow it. You will be fine. You either believe what God says about you or you don't. You either believe that your life is going to end in all good, that all things are working for your good, that your future is all going to be happiness, that God only has good things planned for you. It's either you believe it or you don't. 
because if you believe it then you will follow your inspiration you will stop stressing you will stop stressing about your purpose you will move forward being inspired and guided by the spirit or you don't believe it and you decide to create your own plans and you decide to not listen and you decide to do your own things and stress about your future you can decide which path you want to take the one of stress-free guided happiness that's going to definitely end in good things or you go your own path that is full of stress you don't know exactly what's going to happen you have no idea if it's the right one you're constantly stressed you're constantly trying to figure out things by yourself it's all up to you and this just leads me to number five there's absolutely nothing that you could do that could surprise god god made you god knows all of your capabilities we can do things that surprise us we get led into these situations where we're just like i didn't know that i could do that you know you you get into a stressful situation and you're just like, I didn't know that I had the strength to move through that. I didn't know that I could cry that much. I didn't know that I could be that kind. Or I didn't know that I could be that strong. But God knows there's nothing about you that surprises him. Nothing. The way you are, your, the, the things you like, the struggles you have, the things that you feel guilty about, the things that you did good or the things that you did bad, nothing about you stresses him. He created you. There's nothing you could do that could honestly surprise him. He made you. He knows exactly what propensities you have. He knows that certain things make you struggle, that certain temptations are really hard for you. You look at the man, you're just like, he knows, he knows. He knows those things about you. So no decision that you make is going to surprise him. Therefore, no decision that you're going to make is going to lead you away from him. He's always going to be there for you. So follow your inspiration. And don't feel as though, this is this what God wants me to do? If it is, being inspired. If you pray about it and you feel like the Holy Spirit is guiding you, do it. Because if it is not for you, God will lead you away from it. If it is for you, he will push you forward. Just stop stressing about your purpose and your future and your tomorrow. Worry about now. What, what are you inspired to do now? What has the Holy Spirit said for you to do now? And as long as you believe in God, then everything's fine. Stop stressing. It's not your problem. Like, chill. One thing that I've come to understand is that whether you believe in God or not, He's still God. Whether you believe in your purpose or not, it is still there. God will still use you. Whether you want to or not, he is God and he will have his way. So just get in line. <laughs> Trust me, life is much better that way. That's all I have for you, beautiful people. I hope that you enjoyed that one. I hope you have a good week ahead of you. Please give this a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section which point stood out the most for you. And remember, the more thumbs up you give this girl, the more the channel grows and the more sisters we have here on How I Do Things. That's all I have for you. Until later days, I'm Kopana Shemangi and this is How I Do Things. There's a bump, guys, if you're wondering. <laughs> bump update! Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you for making it right until the end. Now, if you're here and you have not subscribed to my channel, then you are totally a fifth. You are stealing. You are wrong. Subscribe on this button right here and feel free to continue binge watching. Until later days. Mm -hmm.